Hi, how are you? You know, I've taken a lot of courses in my lifetime. I was actually really bad in school, but I've taken a lot of, of college level courses since I left. Uh, what I want to talk about today is Berkeley Online. And I've actually taken what's equivalent to 15 college credits at Berkeley College. And, and I have myself a certificate that says, um, you know, I have, um, mine is called Music Theory and uh, Counterpoint. And I want to tell you the reason I did this. These are not cheap because we're talking about $1,500 for each, each three credits. So today there's a lot of choices online. You can go to Udemy and pick up some really fantastic things for you know sometimes the prices go down to like ten dollars that compared with with what you have to pay for college then we have to you know evaluate what is it is it really worth it so I'll tell you the reason I did it and the reason that uh, other people did it so there are actually three things I want to talk about uh, one is why I choose Berkeley over other choices Berkeley online I'm, I'm speaking about uh, the other choices are you go to college, you actually attend college full time, and the other choices are the the myriad of options that you have online these days. Uh, even with YouTube, you can get a lot of great free education online. And the other thing I'm going to talk about is what it's like taking courses at Berkeley. You know, what's my experience? I'll tell you my experience. And th then the third thing is is it really worth it? After I've done all this, was it really worth it for me? Uh, the most I've spent in an actual college is a year in England. And uh, in this country, I've actually gone through the process of getting an associate's and a bachelor's in engineering in, um, in Thomas Edison State College, which is actually called Thomas Edison State University now. Perhaps you can just consider that I have a little bit of experience with taking these untraditional courses. So let's get started with the first thing, which is why choose Berkeley online as opposed to the other options? Well, one thing, according to their website, it was suggesting that a lot of people take these online courses because they're working a full time job and they come home and they, they can study and, and they can these days, you know, people have their own studios and they can they can learn lots of good things from really good instructors, the same instructors that teach the courses in, in their in their main college. So that's where some of the students uh, are coming from. So what you get, you're getting accredited courses, which you could you could follow a complete degree course at Berkeley now, or you could take those credits and use them somewhere else. So that's that's one reason why you would take those kind of courses. Why did I do it? Since about year 2000, I've been teaching guitar. I had no college music training. Uh, I did have classical training so and I played in bands in the past and I was at one point considering getting some kind of qualification from the Registry of Guitar Tutors which is Registry of Guitar Tutors is affiliated with uh, the Royal School of Music or something in London Royal College of Music, one of those. Being registered with them actually did bring me some some students. So I was thinking to pursue, you know, actually have their teaching qualifications. And what they required was, in addition to taking their courses, was some additional music theory. So I wanted to get music theory. Now, here's the trick that I did. You know, when I took the courses, there were several courses available. Actually, my, my certificate program is no longer offered. They had a music theory one, two, three, which was part of one certificate, and then they had the music theory one, two, and then the counterpoint. I wanted, I wanted to get one, two, three, and the counterpoint. So here's what I did. There was a, a link that you can click when you go to the course for, for, the, for the second level course. You can take this self-test and it will grade you. It will give you, give you a mark, and if you get above a certain amount, um, I got like 85%, something like this. Then uh, it says, okay, you can take the second level course. There's nobody stopping you from taking it if you, have, if you don't have this. I wanted to get this qualification with the, with the counterpoint. So I took level two, level three, and the counterpoint together. The other advantage of that is it's a little bit cheaper if you pay for all three at once and you decide I'm going to take this certificate or that you know, whatever program they're offering, some have 
uh, nine credits, some have uh, 15 credits or something. Uh, you can you can choose that. So that effectively eliminated three credits. It wasn't easy because of that because I skipped that first level. There were some things that I could have um, you know I could have brushed up on and could have used in that that first course. I actually was able to get through. I got all A's in those courses. Actually, I got a minus A minus in the uh, in the counterpoint. But I loved those courses. All right, so here's how I got the equivalent of 15 credits. So the first thing is I took the self-test, which I already mentioned. And the other thing is that you can apply for scholarships to take other courses. So I did that. In fact, I did it twice. The first time it didn't go through. What you have to do is you have to ask particular, you have to ask your professor or professors if they will support you in applying for this grant. And these grants are really great. And I want to, I want to thank Gloria Estefan, who supported me. I mean, she doesn't know me personally, and she probably has no idea who gets the gets the money. But a lot of artists support students at Berkeley College, and uh, they have many scholarships. And I was lucky enough because I asked two professors. They both supported me. I got A's in both their classes, which really helped. Um, and I asked them, you have to ask your professor, will you support me to apply for this particular grant? I think they have to actually apply for this for you. But I, I was persistent the first time after I took the first course, I asked and then nothing happened. And the second time, I asked two professors, I got $1,500 to spend on another course. So that was fantastic. So that's how you can save money at Berkeley College. Uh, I believe there's a limit to how many times you can receive this kind of uh, credit, but it's something that's really good to know about. The only thing is here, you cannot apply this to courses you've already paid for. You have to take additional courses. So which is why I, I actually took nine credits and then I took another three. All right, so I hope you find that useful if you do intend to take Berkeley College courses. And there is great people like Gloria Estefan, thank you so much. Um, we're, actually, we're actually about the same age and uh, I don't know how she'd feel about somebody my age taking, taking that course a couple of years ago, but, but I do appreciate it. And, and I love her singing. And I love her daughter, Emily, singing too. So here's what it's like taking courses in Berkeley. And by the way, I have no affiliation with Berkeley. I'm not being paid to do this talk, but uh, I'm very positive about the experience I had there. So basically what you get is you get your login and you can log in and you see your course there. And every week, the part of the course that is be that becomes active for that particular week. And then the next week, another part will, will become active. You know, there are quizzes and assignments and you have to submit your assignments on time. Uh, if you're a little bit late, they're, they're pretty lenient. But the thing is, you got to submit them anyway. So, you know, you just it's better to keep with the schedule. You don't want to get behind. So I took those and, and I, I found everything to be very interesting. Now, here's the other thing that you get. They actually have online classes and, and also the, uh, the instructor, the professor is available usually for, for um, I, I can't remember if it's once or twice a week, you can actually log in and uh, speak with the professor. Particularly the, the counterpoint was excellent. Uh, I could log in and there were certain things going on and, and the instructor, Beth, uh, I forgot her name actually, but, but uh, she was a really wonderful instructor. In fact, they, all, of the, all of the instructors I found to be really excellent and know this stuff, but but uh, this particular one was, was really beneficial to log in and to spend time going through things. She had actually some things that were not in the course and she would go through and explain them and uh, answer questions. And, and it, that was quite interactive and I, I enjoyed that. So this is what you get. You're getting a structured course. So you have to submit your assignments. You have to pass those assignments. If you don't, I found the instructors are very good. They'll give you a second chance and maybe even a third chance. But through that process, then you understand what you don't understand. So, so they give you a second chance to resubmit things. And uh, being able to do that actually helps you to learn faster than just taking a regular online course. Now, is this as good as the training that you would get if you actually were on campus at Berkeley? I don't think so, because I think those classes will be 
there will be more class time and there will be more uh, interaction with the professors and the other students and you're actually there although at this particular time when I'm recording this uh, I guess that there's probably nobody there right now all of the courses I've taken in this country I've been working and then usually I'm studying at nighttime or weekend I think one other thing if you do that then actually the benefit is that you really feel okay I paid my money I want to get my education so that's another incentive that's another reason to pay the big money because if you pay big money then you expect that you're gonna have a big commitment otherwise you just wasted your hard-earned money and the other thing is status you and how you feel you feel confident because okay I have taken you know I've taken my Berkeley course so I, I feel like I'm you know I'm at a certain level so it gives you a certain amount of confidence now was it really worth it I've got to say yes I've got to say yes another thing with the college courses we're taking a college course like this it forces you to study things that you may not have studied if you were just doing it by yourself looking on YouTube you, th you think okay this is interesting thing but that yeah you know you have to go through the process and learn the stuff or you can't pass so so that's a benefit bottom line is you know when you whatever you do in the world whatever you do music or otherwise if you can't perform the thing that you're supposed to perform then nobody cares what kind of education you got but I've always found that when I take education I want to learn as much as possible I, not just to get my money's worth but I just want to understand it and get the most out of the experience and if you do that then you really benefit from Berkeley and you also benefit from any other course that you take so having said all that I'd like to say I always try to stay tuned and I look forward to see oh and don't forget to subscribe hit the button for subscribe if you like it put the thumbs up and uh, other than that stay tuned and I'll look forward to seeing you soon